this is a weird setting but kind of like it looks kind of good in the monitor and I'm looking all types of crusty but like is that really new so I was getting some makeup products ready for a video that I am planning out um I mean like the trend is probably gonna go away super quick because I'm always behind on all these things because I can't get motivated sometimes a lot of the time I'm gonna still do it <laughs> I was picking out the makeup and then like I was going through all the new stuff that I bought and I was like I should probably film a haul video I, I, I should, right? Right. Stop. Can you stop whining, please? Sorry if the light fluctuates. I'm using natural daylight, and I kind of like this. Hold on. I don't think my camera's in focus. BRB. I might start filming. Not start filming here, like, all the time. I might do a few videos here and there in this little setup or whatever. Anyways, let's go ahead into this haul. This is a collective haul. I did not buy all these items at once, okay? So calm down. Now the first part in this haul, I'm not gonna say like where I got everything because it's literally all broken up, but I'm just gonna put on the screen where I got each item from because I do remember where, but it's part of the stuff that's gonna go with that video. So, and I don't wanna like mix it up with everything. Except for this one thing right here, which is the Sally Hansen's Hard As Nail Extreme Wear Nail Polish in the shade Bear Hug. This is it right here, if you could see the color. I got this from Bed Bath Beyond. That's why I wanted to show this one first. I have, <laughs> I don't know what that was, but I have this Joa Selfie Ready Mattifying Primer inspired by K Beauty. I know for sure, I will say I got this one from CVS, but it's by the Kiss brand. So, but it's like only it's sold exclusively with CVS. So it's not a CVS brand, right? It's a kit, I don't know. But I got this primer right here. Oh, also have this Voluminous Lash Paradise by L'Oreal. This is the Mystic Black right here. I have the blackest black somewhere. Where? I don't know. I don't know where anything is. Like, where's my mind? I also have this LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation in the shade Warm Sienna. I'm not sure if this is my shade. I mean, it kind of, on camera, it kind of looks like it would be my shade. I have actually three. Where's the other two? The other two is somewhere, but this is the e.l.f. HD Mattifying Balm. I will say that I got this at Target. Don't know why at Target it is priced at $1.80. It wasn't clearance it's just literally the tag on the shelf is a dollar eighty cents and like I scanned it and it did regular price a dollar eighty so I bought what was left on the shelf of these I never tried them but hopefully I will in its separate video a lot of these things are gonna have their own videos but where's the other two Ow! I also have this e.l.f. Beautifully, be beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick in the shade Touch of Nude. I don't know where Touch of Berry went, but I have it. It's in my bag somewhere. Also got this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer and one of their new shades, What Shady Beaches. <laughs> I have this e.l.f. Matte for Matte, the Holy Smokes palette my charm and I have this Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder in the shade 30 medium deep my co-worker soon to be ex co-worker I'm putting in my two weeks at my job today I'll probably talk about that one day but she has been telling me for months to get this and I just did it and I recently got it and I tried it and I'm upset with myself so that's it for the mixed up bunch. Now I actually have everything separated so I can tell y'all where I got stuff from. So I got these right here from Walgreens. These are the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit, the High Shine Lips, the, 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 the High Shine Lipsticks. Um, I'm actually going to possibly use this one, Send Nudes, right here in that video. Um, but I thought, you know, it was a cute little segue. Um, and then I have the shade Cedar Later right cedar later cedar later cedar later yeah this is the shade right here Zoe this ain't for you I'll swing on 
rude. Next, we're gonna swing on by to Ulta. I got all seven shades of the Maybelline, um, was it made for all collection? You know, their lipsticks that is supposed, the seven shade lipsticks that's supposed to go with every skin tone. So, I got these. <clears throat> Actually, hold on, wait, hold on, wait. Am I missing one? Wait, something's going very wrong. I actually bought these five right here at Ulta, and I bought these two right here at CVS. That was very confusing. So yeah, I literally have all seven shades. I'm gonna be doing a lip swatch video for sure on these, but these are from Ulta. These are from CVS. Ulta, CVS. And I'm probably going to use um, Mauve for me right yeah ma for me in that video i might think about it debating i also have the ardell double up i was trying not to burp ardell double up double demi wispy lashes i already use these i use these like twice i really like these is this for me i don't wear lashes that much so it's like kind of hard for me to put them on because I kind of suck but it's okay and last thing I got from Ulta is the wet wild mega jelly face primer definitely excited to try this definitely gonna do a separate video on this because uh oh wait on the website it makes some interesting claims and I mean whatever let's see now we're on to CVS so including the two lipsticks that I bought from CVS. Once again, this is a collective haul. I have, uh, I was gonna say all, but I'm missing three shades to have the entire collection, I guess. Really, Zoe? I'm missing three shades to have the whole collection, but I have one, six. I have six of the Wet n Wild Mega Glow highlighting powders. So I have Awesome Blossom. That's it right there, if you can see it. <laughs> Crown of My Can, Crown of My Canopy. Bloom Time, I'm gonna say Blossom Time. <gasps> Y'all should make one that says blow, bloom time, blossom time, isn't that like precious petals, golden flower crown, and blossom glow. So I have those. I'm only missing three of them to have the whole collection, but am I sure I'm going to get those three? I'm not sure. I don't know. Think about it. But what I do have is, I think this is all of their loose highlighting, um, powders it's their mega glow you know the whole mega glow thing but i mean i got all four that cvs sold and i checked online and these are the only four so i'm like okay so this is i'm so lit that's what the packaging look like and this is what the highlight looks like hustle and glow right here you glow girl right here and all glown up i was gonna say all grown up I really wanna shout it out, all grown up with you. Do, 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 do. All grown up. This is cute, nah, but man, my legs went to sleep. Wake up, fools. I also got the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Press Powder. Probably the last person to get this because I didn't get it when I bought the foundation because I use like more either yellow or translucent powders on my face. So I'm trying to get back into pressed powders, I guess. But I got the shade Tan Beige. Not sure if this is my shade because the next shade up was too dark. So, yeah. And I also got two of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundations. I have Sand Beige and Golden Tan. Definitely want to do a separate video on these because, and I want to explain like in that video the whole buying experience buying these because it was odd i also got another joa product which um yeah cvs whatever but this is the brow to me yeah brow to me brow pencil and gel right here i've already used it um probably do a whole nother video on it and the last makeup that i got from cvs is the maybelline superstay full coverage foundation and the powder oh this is powder foundation Bruh, I thought this was just powder. Well, it doesn't matter. I'll full coverage, whatever. I got these both. Um, I got this in the shade 320 Honey and the powder also in 320 Honey. 
Now I got some skincare products. So I have the, how, how am I gonna do this? Okay, so I got the Hydro Boost City Shield Water Gel from Neutrogena right here. I hope I like this. I hope I do. Cause I wanna use a moisturizer with sunscreen in it. So I hope I like this. Trader Joe's did me bad. Anyways, and I guess this is a new line, a new skincare line from L'Oreal, but I got the Ideal Clean um, Foaming Gel Cleanser. It's good for all skin types. And I also got the makeup wipes from that line. I guess it's good for all skin types. So I don't know. I guess this is new. I mean, I, this, I think this line might be a little bit more affordable than their other stuff, if I am correct think if I'm correct because these are like five dollars each now we're about to venture on to Target now I go to the clearance section or I just have to find the clearance section a lot and also price match a lot if y'all don't price match price match but oh here was the other two they were in the Target section but yeah like I said I bought what was left on the shelf and there was three of the elf HD mattifying balm I also have this L'Oreal Infallible Paints Lip Thing in the shade Sultry Sangria. Apparently I like a lot of products that are named Sangria. Not for the name, but I guess the color. I don't know. I also got this Profusions Golden Nudes 12 Color Eye and Cheek Palette. This was on clearance. This almost hit me in the face. This was on clearance, so you know. I also have two of the L'Oreal Voluminous Mascaras, but in the shade Cobalt Blue and Deep Burgundy. Hello. I also have these Wet n Wild Color Blast Mascaras in the shade Seafoam Green and Cobalt Blue. I also have the purple one. I used it in my... The heck was that video called? I used like a lot of purples in that eye makeup for my, in that eye makeup, in that video for my eye makeup. I'll link that in the card or, you know, down below. So, you know, check one of those. Also got this L'Oreal True Match Foundation in the shade Caramel Beige W7. We gonna have to talk about this later. Also got this L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in the shade 762 Divine Wine. I think I used this once. I think I have. Um, I also have three of the Wet n Wild Color Icon Pigments in the shade Spellbound. Uh, you are my boo and Dragon's Breath. Just assuming by the names, I think it was probably part of like the Halloween collection or something. I don't know. They were on clearance for a dollar eighteen cents, so I bought them. And I have. Two of the Wet n Wild Mega Liner Metallic Liquid Eyeliners in the shade Golden Goddess. So, oop, hello. So, Golden God, Golden Goddess in the shade Too Cute to Spook. That's the name of this. I just bought it because they were each a dollar eighteen cents. So, these are probably part of the Halloween collection. I, Girl, I don't know. So this next part is like TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I kind of just like put them together. So TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Ross I put together. But I don't think I got anything from Ross except for my new wallet, which is over there. And I'm not about to go get it. But I need a new wallet. Anyways, let's get on to the stuff. I have this Milani staple color state staple. Oh my, I need to go to staples. That's probably why I said that. Milani Color Statement Lipstick in the shade uh, 54 Rebel Rouge or Rogue. I don't know, but this was $1.99. I am quickly becoming obsessed with Marshalls and TJ Maxx because I'm finding great stuff for great prices, just like this Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick in the shade uh, Hot Mess. Got this for $3.99. Oh my god. Actually, I think this might be the small size or travel size or tri- I don't know, um, but 
Yeah, I'll pay $3.99 for this. I will. I also got this BH Cosmetics Royal Royal Affairs uh, eyeshadow palette right here. This was $6.99. The reason why I'm saying the price is because it's literally right on the package. So, I'm saying it. I didn't even know that this collection was a thing, but apparently I guess it was. And I looked up on Google and Tilly still sells this. And this costs like $17.99. So, if you could find this at TJ Maxx for $6.99. Grab a girl. So yeah, this was TJ Maxx and this was Marshalls. Uh, this was Marshalls. This next one is also Marshalls, but this is the Profusion Pro Pigment 21 Pro Pigment Shadows and a dual ended brush. Now, I actually kind of like the brush. I kind of actually do like the brush in these uh, palettes right here from Profusion. What was that one that I used? What was it? Oh, it was the, it was, uh, it's in that video that I'm linking anyways, but it was that one. I actually kind of like the brush. Not sure if I like something dual ended, but you know what, we'll see. You know, I'll play with it. We'll find out together. Together. Ooh. Now I got some hair stuff from TJ Maxx and I already used one of them, but I got two of the Shea Moisture Raw Shea but that fell on my foot raw shea butter deep treatment mask with sea kelp and argan oil yeah i'm not about to read the rest of it but yeah i got two of these because I did the math and one of them is 50 percent off so i basically paid like the same price for one but got double the amount of product how much was this 7.99 on shea moisture's website it's like 13.49 no, $13.99. I also got this Shea Moisture Raw Shea Butter Extra Moisturizing Transitioning Milk with Sea Kelp and Argan Oil. I got two of them. I'm planning on doing a video with this line in particular soon as I get almost everything at some point. Ooh, part of the wall is orange. That's pretty. These are $5.99 each. I think they're, oh, on Shea Moisture's website, the regular price, $10.99. Yeah. Last and not least, and also, I guess I kind of just want to talk about this a little bit because I don't know what in the world is going on, but I got a Shop Hush package right here. Why did you sneeze on me? Why? So I was super excited to place an order with Shop Hush because I never bought anything from them. I wanted to, but I just never did uh, because, you know, your girl's broke. How you broke when you bought all this makeup? <laughs> Girl, I buy things on sale and I use like points and you know CVS got those extra care bugs that come in clutch. But yeah, they were having a sale. Stop doing this to me. So first I'm gonna start off with the filler items because I just wanted to get to the 25, no. Yeah, I wanted to get the free shipping. That's what I wanted. So I'm gonna start with the filler items first. So right here I got this 15 minutes mask by uh, it's cooling cucumber by Naster. Naster. I don't know. By this brand right here, it was very cheap, so I bought it just to help me get up to what I needed to get up to. Um, I also got this Jordana Easy Liner for Lips Retractable Pencil in the shade. Oh, Sedona Red. Jeez, I was looking forever trying to find this name, but Sedona Red. It's just a, a red. For some reason, I don't use a lot of lip liners, but I always try to make sure I have a red lip liner somewhere. I have this Wet n Wild Flat Top Brush right here. I like to use flat top brushes for a foundation. Hopefully this is dense enough. It kind of doesn't feel like it, but hopefully it is. And then I got three of the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I have this shade Almond Warm Honey. I know this is a shade I would regularly use. And also Cool Tan. Now, let's go on to the products that was the real reason why I actually made this purchase. Do y'all know who Ebershole is? If you don't, I mean, you probably should know. She grew kind of-ish quick on YouTube. But she came out with a cosmetics line with Shop Hush uh, called AS Cosmetics. Uh, I've always wanted to, I wanted to get it when it first came out, but apparently it was like regular priced at $92 for the entire collection. And I was like, girl. But 
you know, everything worked in my favor and I got the entire collection for $16.10. Yes, okay. So I have, I took everything out of the box and I kept the like the boxes because they're like really pretty. But I have the 24 karat gold. You see that? 24 karat gold right here. Um, eyeshadow palette. This is what she looks like right here. I'm, I'll do obviously a separate video on this whole collection. Also have the gold dust highlight palette. And I have all four of the liquid gold lip glosses. This one is Trust Fund. This one is Sugar. This one is Daddy. And this one is Baby. But I wanted to talk about Shop Hush really quick because I think they might be... Hold on. My leg went to sleep so I'm trying to... You can't see it but my leg is up. But I wanted to talk about Shop Hush real quick because I think they might be going out of business. Um, I bought these products when I mean I randomly like was looking into my emails and they were just doing 50% off site wide. I'm like oh sweet cool. Um, so I went on the website and then not only I could use the 50% off but I saw that uh, Amber Scholl's you know cosmetics the entire collection one was 65% off so I was wondering like can I even use both coupon well not both coupons but can I use this coupon on top of you know this and it worked um now currently as I'm filming this video which is what March what is March 9th um their site is now 60% off and I've kind of been you know seeing that they are going out of business I'm not 100% sure if that's true but I will try to get this video video out as quick as possible so then uh, people who are you know um looking to you know drop a little bit of coin spend a little money on shop push um, as I am editing this video I literally just placed another order on shop hush got like $200 worth of stuff for $43 so like y'all better hurry up yo Zoe don't you hear me doing a voiceover you is so rude say you sorry I know for a fact you can't get like the whole collection of uh AS cosmetics anymore like together because you can't even buy the eyeshadow palette anymore but you could still get like the highlighter and like two lipstick or two lip glosses together you can get that and also the lip glosses are also deeply discounted as well uh so you can still get like the highlighter palette and the lip glosses at the time that i'm filming this video right now okay um and of course there's like a bunch of other products this was not a cute spot to stop at but i just checked shop hush's almost bird um instagram and apparently they're doing big changes on their app and their website um on i think march 31st so you have until literally now till march 31st to place an order if you want to get anything um don't know if when they're gonna come back and you know I guess they're just rebranded but I don't know when they're gonna come back and like the scary part for me um of them saying that you know yeah we just on March 31st is because cherry culture kind of did the same thing and they were supposed to come back two years ago and like they never did was it two years ago or was it last year anyways they were supposed to come back and they never did so let's all hope and uh pray that uh they just are just rebranding and they're coming back okay i this is long enough i we gotta how do i how do i stop this thing okay that's the end of this video i hope y'all enjoyed and once again i did not buy all this at once this is all collective like some of these products I actually bought like a couple months ago and I kind of just kept it together with like everything so yeah and some of these products are like recent as in like yesterday if you like the video please give it a like also comment down below um what products do you want to specifically see videos on because I'm gonna do videos on like a lot of these products um, but if there's something like very specific that you want to see that is in here, 
I mean, go ahead and, you know, let me know when I'll make that video for you since I'll only be working, well, okay, I'll still technically be working two jobs because of, like, dog sitting and stuff, but that's not that frequent. So, like, yeah, I'll be working, like, one job now, so I'll kind of have, like, more time. So, yeah. Okay, I gotta go because Zoe is staring at me for no reason, and I gotta get ready for work. So, yeah. Bye! Oh yeah, wait, I, that wasn't even done. If you are subscribed, make sure you hit that notification bell. Okay, girl, so that you could come back and we could talk about more stuff and, you know, play with more stuff. If you are not subscribed, please do because we're trying to get this channel up to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. And I think it would be pretty cool if we can make that happen. Okay, I'm going to go and clean up and I got to get ready for work. Also, my computer is dying. Okay, bye! Here, hi, this is Zoe, and she's naked. Cause my mom didn't want to put her collar back on her, so yeah. Okay, can I go now Zoe?